Welcome back to Ben Salutes. And when I was a kid, hypocrisy was where? Wait, no it wasn't. Oh well. There are some things that I love. And I mention that I love them constantly. Then, there are some things I love, and I mention them rarely. Then, there are some things that I love, and I don't even mention them at all. I can't believe that I never made a salute on the subject of today's video. Um, but you did one on your old chan- A GOOD SALUTE! Honestly, screw my old channel. I didn't give anything that I wanted to praise justice in those dark times. So today, I'm saluting one of my favorite comedy teams of all time. The comedy team that brought slapstick comedy as high as it could go. The comedy team that made husbands laugh and wives cry in sorrow. That team is the Three Stooges. So, the Three Stooges originally started in 1925, performing in vaudeville. Now, if you're too young or too stupid to know what vaudeville is, it's basically a form of theater that was popular in the late 1800s and early 1900s that featured a variety of comedy and musical acts. Anyway, the team consisted of the time of Mo Howard, Larry Fine, and Shimp Howard. It wasn't long until he began making appearances in feature films, and Shimp eventually left the team and Curly joined it. In 1984, the studios began making a series of short films for Columbia Pictures. Let's take a break from the history lesson and start with the praising. Why do I love the Three Stooges? Why don't I love them would be the easier question to answer. I don't. Well, I mean, I don't don't hate them. Wait, that doesn't make any- Oh! Stupid double negatives! Why I oughta- Okay. I love the Three Stooges. There. Let's keep this simple. I'll explain why I love them. For starters, the team has the perfect setup for great comedy. You have Mo, the grumpy leader of the group who gets easily ticked off at the other two screw up. Then you have Curly, the hyperactive screw up of the group. And then you have... I can't remember the other guy's name. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's Larry, who's the... third guy of the group? Yeah, Larry never did have a clear personality. He was just... Larry. But you know what? That's just fine. Heh, <laughs> see what I did there. Uh, anyway, Larry works well being a part of the team, even though he doesn't have any clear purpose. They don't really need him, but it's not the same without him. Anyway, these guys already have their established character traits set up, so you know that great comedy is going to come out of them. And it does. The basic Stooge formula is they start out either at an odd job, or they're down on their luck, but then they try to get some easy money and end up in a situation that they have to get themselves out of. Sure, the plots aren't always the best thought of, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the comedy, and the comedy is amazing. The main comedy of the Stooges is slapstick, some of the most violent and most hilarious slapstick ever to be put on film. The steps are well thought of, the timing is perfect, the sound effects enhance the comedic value, and the reactions are just right. You get four reasons to laugh at one joke. What a deal! What makes the slapstick of the Stooges work is a lot of it comes from Larry and Curly causing Moe to get hurt, and Moe getting his revenge on them. What I love is you never know how Moe is going to react. A lot of times, he acts casual and happy, but then he turns angry and beats Larry and Curly down with any object of his choice. Moe's got a major case of mood swings, but they work for the benefit of the comedy. What was also great about the slapstick of the Stooges is how comedic they were able to make something that looks downright gruesome. For example, there were instances where Moe would rub a saw against Curly's head. Ooh, dang. I wouldn't want to try that on my little cousin again. Also, in the short, They Stooge to Conga, which is considered to be the most violent Stooge short ever, Moe gets a hiker spike jammed into his eye. Aw, oh, come on, Columbia! This is borderline torture porn! And I love it! Now, of course, there are some uptight people who say, Eh, hey, I don't like slapstick. It's the lowest form of comedy. Anyone who does is a moron. Well, you obviously haven't seen Jack and Jill. Anyway, for those snobbish ticks out there, the Three Stooges relied on more comedy than just slapstick. There are plenty of one-liners, like so. Don't kill me. We have a lot in common. Your mother and my mother are both mothers. No, not that. I'm too young and too handsome to die. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm too young anyway. I can't see! I can't see! What's the matter? I got my eyes closed! The Stooges also did a handful of shorts and involved the Stooges getting stuck in haunted places, and most of the comedy was from the Stooges reacting in hilarious ways to all the scary occurrences. Plus, as an adult, I find myself laughing at not just the slapstick, but I mostly laugh at the comedic scenes that aren't slapstick, which caused me to fall out of my bed. An example I can think of is in the short Idle Rumors, where a wolf man is behind a broken mirror and Curly looks at it 
thinking he's looking at himself. It's little things like that that remind me that these shorts aren't just one trick ponies. Okay, back to the boring part. So, the Stooges were having a successful run for several years, but in 1946, Curly suffered a stroke and he was replaced by Shimp, and a massacre by fans occurred! However, people seem to not realize that Shimp was the original third member, and Curly replaced him, so they should have massacred when Curly took Shimp's place. Oh well, better late than never. Anyway, there are some fans who despise Shorts with Shimp because they say he's no Curly. Well, duh, of course he's no Curly, and Curly's no Shimp. And Moe is no Larry, and Larry's no Curly, and Curly's no Moe, and Bugs is no Daffy, and a wall is not a rock, and... Where was this argument going? Anyway, yes, Curly is my favorite member of the Stooges, but it's not fair to hate Shimp just because he had to take Curly's place. I mean, it's not like Shimp is the one who caused Curly to have a stroke. Or was he? Nah, that would be silly. The point I'm trying to make is, Shimp offered his own unique brand of humor to the team, he was less of a man-child than Curly, and he was more of a doofus. He wasn't as crazy as Curly, but he was crazy in his own subtle way. So, I love Shimp as a member of the Stooges, and Shimp had the benefit of being in the most unique and funniest shorts of the group's lifespan, thanks to the great directing by Edward Burns, who came up with the most original stories to put the trio in. But eventually, Shimp died and he was replaced by... Joe Besser. Okay, I said that some fans don't like Shimp, but all Stooge fans agree that Joe Besser is the worst Stooge. Why? HE ISN'T A STOOGE! Joe Besser was not a slapstick comedian, so whenever he would film Stooge shorts, he would constantly complain that he didn't want to get hit. Joe, you were joining the most violent slapstick team known to man. What were you expecting? Hugs and kisses? Well, Joe eventually was replaced by Curly Joe Dorita, and he made feature films with Mo and Larry. I haven't seen any of these films, so I can't comment on Curly Joe as a Stooge, but I'm familiar with that god-awful Three Stooges cartoon, and I can say this. Curly Joe, YOU'RE A HORRIBLE VOICE ACTOR! So, bottom line, I love the Three Stooges, when the Joes aren't involved. They are some of my favorite comedians ever. I loved watching their shorts as a kid, and I love them even more as an adult. I've always watched them, and I'll keep watching them. Because anyone who doesn't love them is a porcupine-haired, knuckle-headed, imbecile numbskull who deserves to be poked in the eyes, slapped on the face, and bonked on the head. I'm Ben T. Looney, and I'm signing out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I came inside to get a first aid kit, and I got distracted. I hope my cousin's still alive.